this challenge is feeling so much longer than not liking literally a single one of these books. Um, I lived through it and we barely made it out of that. I've definitely got myself into a book slip. Oh God. <sighs> okay guys. Trying to mentally prepare myself for what lies ahead. Ugh, I'm tired already. This challenge hasn't even started yet. Then I got a coffee. I literally haven't had a Starbucks coffee in so long. And I just like randomly ordered this one. I've never even had this before. Let's see if it's good. It smells cinnamony. It's a cinnamon dolce with vanilla cold foam caramel drizzle and the like sprinkled topping that they've been on. It's not terrible. Ugh. I'm gonna take a little bit to mentally prepare myself because this is going to be a big, big challenge for me. I'll see you guys in a second. You guys may think that this is the same coffee that I had in that clip. No, it is like two hours later and Charlie knocked over first coffee all over my rug and I had to go get another one because I hadn't even really got to drink it yet, so. I'm staring at Charlie, she's staring at me. Anyway, I had to take some time to mentally prepare myself. It's 10.51 right now. And obviously you guys can tell by the title of today's video that I'm going to attempt to do something that I have not done before. If you guys watch my channel, I have a lot of 24 hour readathons on there. I do them like once a month. I actually just uploaded one like this week or last, a 24 hour readathon. And I have only successfully done like a full 24 hours once, like successfully, like didn't fall asleep, did it once. And because of that, I figured that I can do 48 hours straight. That's what we're doing today. So today is Saturday, August 13th. It's 10.52 a.m. I'm going to start this challenge at 11 and will not be done until Monday, August 15th at 11 a.m. So today I have 12 thriller books sitting next to me. I have a little to read list next to me that I made. It has all of the books on it and I'm going to check them off once I have finished them and put the ratings next to it. So we shall see what is going on. I want to say that I'm definitely not going to get through all of these books because that would entail me reading six books like for each 24 hour time period which none of these books are like super long but I just don't think I could do all of these. It's 1056. I have four hours until I am in this challenge for the next two days. I still don't think I'm like mentally ready. It's 1059 right now. Waiting until it's, it hits 11. 48 hours, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. two minutes. I am on page 105 of this book. Not loving it. It's like not reading like a thriller if that makes any sense. I will say I'm very lost on what I think the plot twist is. Whenever I read thrillers I usually have an idea from the beginning of the book what I think is going to be the plot twist and most of the time I'd say probably a good 90%, I guess, what the plot twists are in thrillers. I rarely ever DNF books. Like, I make myself push through it, even though I really don't have to. Like, who am I doing that for, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys. That's how I'm feeling.
43 minutes in. Yeah, three hours and 43 minutes in. I just finished 56 days. Ugh, let me get up. Here's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to give my star rating for the book and I'm going to give the plot twistable rating. So obviously we know star ratings one to five, you know, what I thought about the book overall, my rating. But the plot twistable is whether A, it's a good plot twist and B, I could guess the plot twist. So I'm rating it off of that on also. A one to five so one i guessed it and it wasn't a good plot twist five is i literally couldn't guess it and it was such a good plot twist okay here we go for 56 days i'm going to be rating this book a two and a half stars because this book was just not interesting to me it didn't really have my attention i honestly was just wanting to get through it the whole entire time and even though majority of the things that happened in this book were important as you do get on to the plot twists towards the end. I just thought most of it was just mundane and really didn't matter. A big thing about this book was that it does take place during COVID, during the first parts of when COVID was a thing. Here's the thing about that. Um, I lived through it and we barely made it out of that. Reading the beginning stages of COVID again gave me this overwhelming sense of anxiety. It was important in the grand scheme of things, but it wasn't incredibly important where literally there were like some like 10 pages straight almost just depicting COVID and like what COVID is like. Yeah, maybe like for kids like years from now that didn't have to live through it, but I lived through this and I don't want to feel it again. I don't want to live through it again. So it was a two and a half star rating. Lot Twistable rating was a three. Here's the thing, I didn't guess it, but I feel like I didn't guess it because I didn't care. I could guess what kind of was going to happen a little bit because I thought it was so intentional the way that one of the main characters starts talking. For that two and a half and then a three star plot twistable rating, would I really recommend you to read this? I mean, if you want to read like a thriller that is kind of a little bit anticlimactic and you want to read about COVID, then maybe read it. But other than that, no. Here's the thing, 2.50 p.m. right now, I feel like I need to change up scenery a little bit. I feel like if I'm going to be sitting in my room for two days straight, I'm going to really need to like go outside, touch some grass. The real question here is what book should I read? But here are the books that it is in between for right now. We have The Hunting Wives, Layla, Not a Happy Family, and Lock Every Door. I feel like I want to read The Hunting Wives. Who knows? I'm going to throw on a swimsuit and see you guys outside. Well that backfired i literally got outside it was cloudy which is fine because i was like i can still just sit outside and then it started raining while i was out there i got some amazon shipments so i'm going to share that with you guys yes mm -hmm. as soon actually as i'm done with this video i am reading these magnolia parks and the long way home which is like the continuation of this book this is like blowing up everywhere right now i literally have to read it as soon as i can so i'm five hours in right now and i am on chapter four of the hunting wife this is giving me you season three vibes you season three vibes and i don't know how much i like the main character pages in to the hunting wives right now i think i'm closer to six hours i'm reading these books at a little bit of a slower pace because i feel like i don't really like them i am six hours and 21 minutes in that's literally i'm 100 pages into this book and all it feels like so far is just a bunch of witchy housewives seven hours and 53 minutes in just finished the hunting wives i don't know why i feel like it's taking me longer to read these books and i don't know if it's just because i don't like the books that i'm reading i feel like that's exactly what it is i'm also going to give this book a two and a half stars because here's the thing like the very like i'm saying for like 
70-75% of this book. There's no thriller aspect to it. Like you get introduced into like kind of what's going to be the thriller aspect in the very beginning. So you, it's introduced in the very beginning and so you think, oh, okay, we're gonna get a little bit of introduction and then it's gonna go to what this is described to be a thriller for. And then it doesn't. Just basically a bunch of drama with a bunch of rich women. I really didn't like the main character. I feel like she made super stupid and selfish decisions and I just really didn't like her. I was like, I do not feel bad for you at all. Like, I just wish you never would have done any of this stuff. And as for the plot twist of all the the rating for the plot twist I would definitely give that a two stars like it was like okay again I didn't guess it because I honestly wasn't really paying attention when the plot twist did come I was like oh okay like I can see that but I wasn't like oh oh my god I can't believe that just happened like no I wasn't like that at all so I'm eight hours basically like I'm pretty sure I have like four minutes left until I'm eight hours into this challenge here's the thing if I drink like an energy drink and can make it through tonight which I feel like what's really with really helps me get through nights but this is an interesting book like a book that's actually really good it's gonna keep me interested and want to read because there's a lot of times that i do stay up pretty late reading books if i'm interested in them i feel like i'm between layla and lock every door so lock every door i know this is like she gets paid to basically like apartment sit and I know like this one, but here's the thing. Here's the thing about this one is I don't hear like near as much hype. Not that that matters, but I don't hear near as much hype for this book as I do Verity. And I also, without reading this book, I can tell you that I think I already have the plot twist in my head. For that, I wanna read Layla. I think I'm gonna start Layla. I'm 12 hours in. This challenge is feeling so much longer than any other freaking challenge that I have done. I kid you not. Literally just finished Layla. I don't know why all of these have been like a two and a half for me. I don't want to be negative either. Like, oh, this is so irritating to me that I'm not liking these. And it's also making this challenge 10, 15, 20 times harder. If you don't like the book you're reading then of course it's going to be harder to sit there and want to read these books all night but this one just one it doesn't compare to verity i definitely think that verity by colleen hoover is way better than this one so if you want to read a thriller by colleen hoover even though i don't necessarily think that either one of those are like truly thrillers this one d is not even a thriller i will tell you that i guess it's kind of a spoiler so i can't really say that this is not a thriller at all and let me tell you guys is that how i was like i think i already know like the plot twist before going in. I literally knew the plot twist before going in. So I rated this a two and a half star just for my rating. And I rated the plot twist a one star because I literally won like guessed what the plot twist would be before reading. And then there's like a second kind of plot twist. And I guessed that like 20 pages in. So yeah, I'm really freaking tired. Ugh. I think I'm going to read Lock Every Door by Riley Sager next. Hopefully this one's better than the other books because I always get so sketched like when I do 24 hour readathons in the middle of the night and everyone went to bed. You know I just don't feel good. Like I'm just here to complain I guess. Like what? Let's read. Look at Redor. Subconscious mind is really running. It's really running in the background. I'm not 
fact is that I'm only halfway through this right now. And I have some explaining to do to you guys. I oh, I finished lock every door. I do not know what is up, but I want to change the whole entire trajectory of this video. I swear I want to change it. Let me explain something to you guys. Last night when I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start lock every door. Hopefully it's good because I've read other Riley Sager books and they were good. <sighs> man as soon as i started reading this book i was like mm, not interested i stayed up like all night last night i didn't go to bed right but i didn't even vlog like i didn't even vlog because i would pick up this book i would read two pages and then i'd be like and then i'd try to go to other books and like try to pick up two pages and i was just like so I literally sat in my bed and I was like watching YouTube, picking up different books, trying to read them. And obviously I was like, okay, if I start landing on a book, I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to say, I'm not reading this book anymore. I'm going to read that book. Couldn't land on a book. Literally wasted like so many hours. I was in pain also. I was in a lot of pain. So I was also focusing on that, just trying to, you know, make the pain subside. It was very, very bad. I was having a very bad night. So finally, when, you know, the medicine started kicking in and the pain started wearing off, I went outside because this morning it was pouring down rain. I got some aesthetic footage of that. Pouring down rain, I was like, okay, we're gonna finish this book. I finished it. This book is another two and a half stars for me. Guys, oh my God, none of these thrillers are good to me. Like none of them. Can you can you believe this? Can you believe that every single three books, the three books that I've read so far are all like two and a half stars. I've rated all of them two and a half. All of them. I don't want to lie. Like the thing, I don't want to look negative, but I also don't want to lie. <laughs> like I, I don't want to lie. This book, Plot Twistable, 1.5. I literally guessed like multiple of the plot twists while I was reading it like very early on, except I didn't guess this like one really weird thing that was going on. Like I didn't guess that part, but I basically guessed everything else like literally everything else there's also something that's like a pretty big point within the book not really with like the main plot but it's kind of like a subplot that the character always talks about and i thought okay there's gonna be this big reveal in the end like of something that happened to do with this no like it was like a huge plot point then it's never resolved <laughs> like Ever. Like I was thinking, okay, if they're gonna tell you what happened in the end, you know, not like it's gonna be a happy ending for that, but maybe they're just gonna tell you what happened. No, I was like, okay, we could have so much potential of what happened. Like I, I was making some connections. I was like, okay, I think that this has something to do with this and this, this, this. And like, I was like, okay, that's what's gonna happen. And it, just nothing happened with that subplot. I was like, why did we even bring it up then? I think that I want to take a break from reading my thrillers. I think I want to take a break, at least one book that's not a thriller because I also think that me just reading thrillers back to back to back right now and I feel like none of them are doing anything good for me. So all it's doing is just kind of putting me in more of a reading slump where I don't want to pick up a book. So what we're about to do, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, is read Magnolia Parks. Ah, listen, I also like can't not read this like we're still we're still doing a 48 hour readathon but i can't not read this book right now i can't not i have to literally everyone's talking about it and i don't think i can go like a minute longer not knowing 24 hours and five minutes in starting magnolia parks this is the fifth book i desperately need a good book so hopefully this is living up to everyone else's expectations <laughs> Mm. Okay, I'm 30 hours into this challenge right now. I finished Magnolia Parks. This was the fifth book for this challenge. <laughs> 30 hours in. The reason that it's taking me so long, it's been like six hours. I have been going between the house across the lake and Magnolia Parks. I read like the first 100 pages of Magnolia Parks and then I was very bored by it. So then I tried to pick up the house across the lake. I was like, okay, we're gonna keep on going with the thriller format for today's video. Then picked this up, read like 40 pages and was like, mm, okay, maybe we should go back to Magnolia Parks. And then I was like already halfway through Magnolia Parks and then I tried to read a little bit more of the house across the lake. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna finish it. I'm just gonna finish. Magnolia Parks. I don't even know how to feel about this book. I'm a little disappointed. Everyone's been hyping this up. It's like one of the most hyped books on Book Talk right now, and I'm a little disappointed. 
I don't even know what rating I want to give this. And what also makes me upset is that I don't want to seem like I'm being so negative in this video. It's just that like none of these books are hitting. Like I don't, I don't get it. I genuinely, I don't get it. Here's the, here's the thing. I have been hitting a wall since like 1 a.m. last night with like reading and I'm very scared that this is like going to put me into a reading slump. Very fearful of that, especially when you have like content planned out for the month and you're like, oh God, please let's not i'm gonna keep on reading the house across the lake by riley sager i mean to be fair i don't feel like i'm really far enough into this book to like full on judge it i'm going to try to read this book and see what happens i desperately wish that publishers would do more than this on hardbacks like if you take the sleeve off i wish they would put like something cool printed on the hardbacks instead of just leaving them like this but i guess this is pretty cool if you took all of the sleeves off your hardbacks and they looked like kind of like classics a little bit it's my random thought for the hour i was about to say for the video but i was like there's probably so many more random thoughts that i've said or will say almost 33 hours in but 32 hours and 50 minutes in right now and i just finished the house across the lake i will say that this book was a solid four and a half stars for me very refreshing to actually read a book that i thoroughly enjoyed at first it was a little hard to get into because kind of knowing our character it gave you some backstory of her but i felt like not too much because you do ultimately learn more about her as the story goes on but to build up her character i didn't really love her at first so i was just kind of like not really interested in her backstory but so many plot twists so many riley tiger does that with his books he has like a few plot twists at least it's not like one big plot twist but the storyline was really good i was actually really happy that one of my theories that i had for the plot twist wasn't what happened because riley sager does that a lot in his books like this specific plot twist that i guessed he does that a lot in his books so i was thinking that's the road that i was gonna go down but it wasn't i completely didn't guess a plot twist so the plot twistable factor was a solid four star for me it wasn't like silent patient where i was like oh my god i didn't see any of that coming like i definitely saw some of it coming not like the huge thing but like one of the other plot twists so it was a solid four star plot twistable rating and it was a four and a half like it was very very good i've also been sitting outside because i wanted a change of scenery that wasn't the living room or my room because it's gonna get dark soon it's eight o'clock so it's gonna start getting dark and it's already gloomy but it's gonna start getting dark soon so i won't be able to sit outside because i don't know if you guys have ever seen scream but my house kind of resembles that and i can't really sit out in my backyard or on my porch in the pitch black night so so i think i'm gonna start reading the paris apartment 35 hours 35 hours in i finished the paris apartment by lucy foley I have to say that I really am very, I'm very sad to report that I didn't enjoy this book either. <laughs> Ooh. It reminded me a lot of the first book that I read in this video. Not because the premise was the same. I was just bored. I was bored reading it. I was like, when is this book going to be over? I hated literally every single one of the characters, which was probably intentional, but I hated every single one of them. And most of the time in thrillers, you're supposed to be rooting for the main character. And in this book, I was just like, why do I not like anybody? So my official rating, I think for this book is going to be a two stars. Plot twist, I give it a two. Like the plot twists were fine. Like I think the main like kind of plot twist that you learn first was good like I didn't really see that coming but like everything else was just kind of I mean you can kind of just put the pieces together I have a very long night ahead of me I still have like 
13 hours left. When I started this challenge, I was excited. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to read thrillers. This isn't turning out the way that I wanted it to. <laughs> I need a book that I think is good enough to make me want to stay up and actually read it. When in doubt, I always check my TikTok save. I know that there's this book called Bittersweet Memories and I saw that someone did a TikTok on it. This is what the cover looks like in case you guys want to look it up on Kindle Unlimited. That's what I'm going to read. Wait, so why is the dedication literally me? Dedication, this one is for the dream. Wait, why couldn't I read for a second? This one is for the dreamers, the ones who create Pinterest boards. <laughs> I can't read, I can't read. This one is for the dream. <laughs> This one is for the dreamers, the one who create Pinterest boards as a dream life and then fight to make those dreams come true. You got this. Love it. So this has went from like only thrillers for 48 hours. I was super excited to do in the beginning to like just random because everything's just slowly going down the drain. Glad we're all on the same page. I'm 40 hours in. 40 hours in. I don't even remember the hour. Was it 36 hours in? 36? I don't know. I was reading Bittersweet. What was I just reading? Bittersweet Memories. And it was so good. I gave it a four stars. It was so good. The storyline like had me where I was like, what's about to happen? What's this? And, like, and I, lo I loved it. Will I read the other books in the series? Probably not. I feel like I only really liked the book because of the character and the storyline. So yeah if i wanted to i could definitely fall asleep right now i'm like i need to find something else to read i think i'm going to read brutal prince by sophie lark it's the brutal birthright series pretty sure it's like mafia i really i drank a little bit of my alani new earlier and i didn't drink really any of the rest of it and I also haven't tried to drink a lot of caffeine, especially not energy drinks. Coffee is fine, but like I didn't want to drink a lot of energy drinks because it's not good for you. I forgot how genuinely good monsters taste because I went through a monster kick when I was in high school with my two best friends. Like we would really get monsters. Like we would be like, let's go to the gas station and get monsters and pull an all-nighter. And like we would do it all the time anyway i'm gonna keep sipping on this and start brutal prince hopefully this is good hopefully it sticks i like reading books like this for like this 3 a.m time frame because even if they're not like amazing like even though that book was four stars even if they're not amazing they're still entertaining like the stuff that's going on in the story is entertaining this says typical time to read is five hours and three minutes Dun, 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 dun. 45 hours in it's the home stretch it's like two hours and 40 30 40 something Spanish brutal prince gave it a three stars i actually liked it a lot more than any other mafia romance that i've read because the character like it didn't feel super cliche i started trying to read stolen air but i was like i don't really want to read another mafia romance the question is what do we read next i would like to finish a book I'm going crazy a little bit just a tad bit but it's okay but it's okay it's okay let me see let me see let me see what i got oh this is concerning mm, this is concerning read before the coffee gets cold literally so random but this is like a shorter book it's like a little bit over 200 pages it's like a fiction i don't know i don't know i don't know what to do with this video at this point okay thanks I did it. I did it. Oh, I just clapped way too loud. 48 hours and three minutes. I have been reading Finding 13. I went, I picked up Before the Coffee is Cold and then I picked up Sharp Objects and I was like, I just don't think that I can like focus on a book that would 
make me need to focus. Like this book is just like, love it. It's just, I don't even know how to describe it. I read eight and a half. No, hold on. Let's go to a different corner of my room and talk. Ah, I can't believe this. I literally can't believe that I pulled this off. This video is kind of all over the place, especially I feel like in the nighttime portions, like the night before I've explained that, but like last night my SD card ran out of storage and I couldn't find my other SD card and I spent a little bit looking for that and then I just deleted stuff off of my SD card and then my camera battery's dying and I was like, I feel like it was a little bit of a mess. So let's wrap up for old time's sake. The first book that I read was 56 Days. Gave this a two and a half star. But honestly, like after reading it, this was definitely just a two star. Then I read The Hunting Wives, which was a solid two and a half stars. Then I read Layla, which was also a two and a half stars. Then I read Lock Every Door, which was, guess what? Also a two and a half stars and then i read magnolia parks which i gave a three stars i think that's what i'm leaning on honestly to be determined like i still don't really know how i feel about this book like this book to me was just so odd like even the way that it was like the writing is and everything was just so odd to me so i still don't really have a rating for this book and then i read the house across the lake by riley sager which i rated a four and a half stars this was a really good book for me to read i was pleasantly surprised by this but then we read the paris apartment by lucy foley which went back down to a two stars hi guys just um coming in really quick to say that i'm also an idiot who forgot that i read Brutal memory, not brutal memories. Bittersweet memories. I read Bittersweet Memories and I gave that a 4.25 stars. I really liked that book, but I was, you know, running on absolutely zero sleep for like two days at this point. Completely forgot that I read that book because it was like two o'clock in the morning, but I did also read that book. So I think that put the total at nine total books. So just kind of forget what Delirious Destiny said and listen to a little bit more sleep destiny that i also read that book and gave it a 4.25 stars and then i read brittle prince by sophie lark on my kindle last night i also went and started reading brutal air or brutal air or whatever the second one in that series is i read like a little bit of it throughout like the morning and stuff but i didn't even i don't even think i got like 50 percent through that so i didn't really count that as anything then like i said i picked up before the coffee gets cold i picked up sharp objects but then for the last like two hours i read binding 13 so i read basically like eight and a half books here's the thing i definitely feel like i could have read way more if i was really into what i was reading and i was reading really good books like if all of these were even just how like the house across the lake was i feel like it, this video would have went like way different i would have read way more books and this video is just kind of all over the place like i was like oh yeah this is gonna be just thrillers and then the thrillers weren't good so i was like okay maybe i just do like a few books to just break it up so i honestly don't really know what this video is sorry not sorry hopefully you guys enjoyed this video somehow if you guys did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all of that youtube stuff that you guys know how to do by now you know i gave you guys i gave you guys two of these videos this month so you're welcome in a way i guess this has caused me to not sleep for like two days and i'm definitely feeling it i'm definitely feeling it so i hope you guys enjoyed because of that so like like this share it whatever you guys want to do and until then i will see you guys when i see ya peace